Hello and welcome to The Turning of the Leaves, a Thief 2 fan mission by Nicked, made for the 1 million units contest. Now, I uh, don't actually know anything about this game, uh, about this mission. This is coincidentally the uh, or not so coincidentally, the third nicked mission in a row that I played. The first two was kind of by chance, but seeing as I've just done two nicked missions and he also submitted one for this contest, I thought, well, yeah, why not? So before we begin, let's read the briefing. Being an independent thief in the city has always had its associated risks, but I've always managed to stay one step ahead of my rifles. That is, until I went to visit my fence after robbing Lord Torridge of his valuable gold chalice. The look on his face should have told me something was wrong, but before I could react, three heavies unfolded from the shadows and jumped me. When I came to, cold rain was spattering on my face. Tied up and thrown onto a handcart, I was being taken outside the city into the woods. I could hear two of the thugs chatting away. One of them was worried that their third companion would get all the glory for running the chalice back to their boss. But the other reassured him that bringing the famous Garrett in alive would be worth even more. While they talked, I pretended to be unconscious and managed to loosen the bonds around my wrists and ankles. The rain grew heavier, the canopy overhead grew thicker. We were deep in the woods when the thugs said they were almost back to their hideout. It was now or never. Throwing off the ropes, I leapt off the cart and darted into the trees. I could hear my captors shouting in futile rage behind me, but I managed to get away. Now I'm unarmed and alone in hostile territory but I still have my wits about me. Whoever did this is about to learn a valuable lesson. Crossing Garrett is a bad idea. Oof, okay, there is some difficult difficulty differences on expert, but let's have a look at hard first. You're on the run in hostile territory. Try to find something to defend yourself with. The thugs who captured you mentioned that they were almost back at their hideout. It must be near here somewhere. Find out where it is and sneak inside. And you've had a rough night so far. Someone is responsible. Find out who. You worked hard to steal Lord Torridge's golden chalice, and you're not about to let some amateurs keep it. Get it back. The thieves took all your equipment. Most of it is replaceable. But those lockpicks were expensive. Get them back. A thieves' hideout is bound to have some swag lying around. Empty their coffers of at least 2,400. It's a miserable night. When you finish your other objectives, try to find somewhere safe, warm, and dry to wait out the storm. If I was to play on expert, what else is different? Your captors might have been quite happy to kill you, but you're better than they are. Don't kill any of them, or any other humans you may find in this part of the forest. Alright, so no, no bonus objectives, or at least no uh, bonus objectives up front on expert. So I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to, you know, try not to kill anybody, but if I have no other choice, then uh, these thugs can get what they a little bit of what they deserve. You know, one thief deserves another or something like that. One thief, deser one thief deserves another sword. Ah, whatever. Let's begin. Wow, it is dark and I'm in the forest, just literally only one way. Nothing. He just vanished into the trees. Come on. We'd better keep looking. We're never gonna find him in this. Well, you go back and tell the boss we lost him then. No, no, I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> He's not down this way. See, I told you. Huh. Wow, so this is literally a maze right now. Oh shit. He's not gonna come down here, is he? Like he's got like the whispers following him. Let's 
Am I going that way or am I going this way? I have no idea where I'm going, only that I'm trying to wave them hello. Water logs and notes. Gone away for a few days. If Bolton says all healing herbs you seek, pay your visit to Old Mother Drop it in the next valley. Don't bother knocking. If I am back, this note won't be here. Granny Bittle. Well, that might be somewhere I can stay. Hello. Might be somewhere I can get out of the rain. This is a safe place to hide in. Right, so I could make a fire if I have some dry firewood. <laughs> some broadheads. Sword, alright. Candle if I want to advertise to those people that there's somebody in here. I feel like I should come back here once I've dealt with everything else. And then light the fire in the candles. Frying pan. To defend myself with. More candles. Alright. Bad start. I can get the drop on these two fools. Throw it away, that's maybe of use. There's a landmark, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. The moment, let's throw this guy around the back of the hut <coughs> to keep his friend from seeing it. From seeing him. Spe uh -huh. Speaking of his friend. Oh, the whispers also just wondering if it just happened to uh <coughs> Right, you know what? You guys can both just <coughs> lie down there. <coughs> Don't want you to be to wake up near the hut after all. But if you wake up Knocked out in the middle of this twisty forest. And that's all good. <clears throat> I think this is where I started. Mossy statue, I guess. Maybe this is where I started. Creepy old mossy statue. Hello. Bone wheel mushroom. A bone. I don't know what a bone wheel mushroom is good for, but I guess, I guess 
I might find out. Probably don't need to be super sneaky anymore. Hello. Can I drop this down? Turquoise begonia. Another bone wheel muffin. Hang on a second. I feel like for exploring upriver. Will I see those? No, I won't. I feel like I should finish exploring in the forest. Maybe, maybe that's all there is to explore. Let's leave that as a marker. Yeah, I guess maybe that's everything, and I'm just going around in circles now. All right. Might as well do some herb gathering. While I'm in the forest. Hello, that's a cave. Don't know what I would expect to be in a cave, but a cave in these places might be occupied. There's another window there. There's a frog beast too. Mage fire aster. Fix those pansy. Lockpicks to get into that graveyard and or whatever that haunted, or rather haunted house, and I may actually not want to, you know? Doesn't sound very hospitable. Froggy. Couldn't have you walking into me. Oh. That's the same house. I didn't realise it could just come round. Now we can see the rather creepy uh, skeletal remains there. I don't know why I'm picking flowers. I mean, what else would I do in rainy woods? Did I just hear another frog beast? I did. <laughs> Ouch. That one's close enough to hit me. Why are there frog beasts in this part of the wood? Uh, anyway. Hello, someone had a campfire here. Left a crystal by this old statue. Hmm. It's a wisp. Skull with something stuck in it. Hi, Wispy. These woods are a maze. So just come around in circles. 
Hello, is this the same cave we saw before? Maybe it is. I am going to be hopelessly lost. Oh, I do have actually kind of a map. That is marking where I've been, okay. That is incredibly useful. Good work, Garrett. I didn't know you were... Uh, that forward thinking. That means I can mark things like a chest. That I would want to come back for. Is this the cave entrance I found before? I think it might be. Yeah. And of course, the cave goes behind the waterfall. Because of course it does. Need a bedroll. I mean, a bedroll would be nice, you know. Oh. Well, I guess we know how he died. Bram, you've got one more chance. Bring back something worth fencing, or don't come back at all. Him. Yes, Bram decided not to come back at all, but maybe it wasn't his decision. Huh? And there's the chest again. So I'm guessing. Given the signs of people's presence here, the bandits hideout might be down this way. Well, this is certainly a new... Uh... Oh, nice. Even multiple pages of maps. This is brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Not only is it a proper draw-as-you-go auto map. There's, there's pages of it. I'm picking flowers because I can, not because I have a reason to. Old flat out tree. Have I been here before? Yes. What's this place marked as, by the way? I don't know. The creepy place. So on this side. Right, yeah. Well, we're going to need lockpicks before we get into the creepy place. So. If I skip the cave entrance and keep going around to the right... Just keep, it, keep flushing out my map here, hello. Oh, that's just where I was, okay. Another building. Hello. Flower. Why won't you let me get take you, Flower? I don't know. Oh, on the other side of the skull. You know what? Let's... Let's mark it. I think that's it. I guess it's there. Right, yeah, that's right. That's right. Drop, drop down four. Hello. 
we are at. Building. First, first loot? No. Second, we found a few bits of loot. Uh, I don't know what these buildings are. Before we explore them, let's head around and try and finish a forest map here. I guess I could leave notes. I head down here, I should be fleshing out a new map, right? I should take notes on the landmarks, right? This is... Ruins. Ah, oh, I mean... <laughs> I should be taking notes. Maybe the notes are being taken for me. Good work, Garrett. Well, there's more stuff in the ruins. Spears, huh? Where is this taking me? Do I even have my compass? I do. Another house. This looks like... Definitely looks like uh, it's occupied. It's lights on. The flower I cannot pick. If they were growing mage fire asters, what if they're a mage? Does that imply that they're a mage? So is this part of the same cave? Yes, it is. All right. Cave part amaryllis. Well, yes, indeed. Well, there's kind of more at the cave mouth. Do you see if anybody's home? More broadheads, very nice. Stealing them from these people, even though we have no idea who they are. County statues. Oh, the sounds of rain on the roof. I love it. Lent over him. Hello, Rebecca. Garlic. No change in condition. Silver. Causes burning pain. No change to condition. Aconite. Induces frenzy, but no change to condition. Holy water. No change. Brother Henry's incantation. No change, even after an hour of chanting. Application of holy hammer symbol. No change. When the full moon has passed, I must journey to the Hammerite's Library Maleficarum and beg to be allowed to search through the texts there. There must be a cure for this unholy curse. There must. Are they a vampire? That's funny. It's unfortunate for them. Uh, sorry, a werewolf. That's unfortunate for them. I wonder if that means we might meet them later on. Hello? Why would that be useful? Well, we're definitely not spending the night here. Hello, he's got... I guess that's bits of firewood, but it looks like steaks. Oh, bold curses. That will do is... That's very modern, really. Extremely modern. So that will do instead of lockpicks for the moment. That's why he's got a holy hammer symbol. 
Yeah. Well, speaking of bolt cutters. Anything else hiding away? Indeed. All right. We're hidden in the wood pile. Oh, these are actually all wood objects rather than wood brushes, like in uh, Mount Lazar's Tower. Bad ladders. All right. Lucky he didn't wake. Right, I think we're done here. This is... Werewolf's Cabin. You can get up there. Should be up. So, I'm not sure why that gave you so much trouble, but uh, fair enough. Okay. We can get to the creepy place now. We can deal with the crate in the cave now, too, I believe. Oh, hello. So, from here. Oh, let's head around this way back to the cave, right? Oh, that's the ruins. I do need to explore the ruins at some point. This is... It does not look like the bandit's place. I don't know what it is, but I'll come back later. To, let's call it a temple. Probably connects to the ruins. Pretty close by each other. That's the creepy skull, right? Am I in the right place? Yeah. And this is the cave. Alright. Bolt cutters, where are you? Okay, I mean the chest is there, it can be, it can serve as a marker maybe, but... Seems I missed a bunch of flowers. Or they grow back very quickly. Yeah, I definitely picked that one before. You know what? Better lock it again. Better say some sorry after all, right? We don't want anyone else coming in here. All right. Anywhere else? We want to go here. No, I guess we're going to have to go to this creepy place. Yeah, these are definitely going back. Alright. I do wonder if they serve any purpose or whether we can just use them to mark where we've been. What's this hut? I don't know, but I can't get in from this side. So here we have hollow tree, right? This is a marker. If we... Oh wait, we're going the wrong way. This 
me to going north and to the east. The hollow tree brings me to the creepy place. Indeed it does. Well, it seems like that's the first place we should investigate, right? Dead after all, he's just wearing a mask. Well, maybe. Huh, okay, now I'm intrigued. He has a key as well. Okay, that door is locked, and I don't have my lockpicks. I don't care. Okay. Hmm. Plus a hole in the wall. Where does this take me? Old something stable. Yeah. I... So I guess he's guarding. And they just have creepy noises. Oh, hello. Skull, huh? Rest in peace, dude. Rest in pieces. Okay, don't get stuck on a tree. So, I guess... Why don't we take his key, huh? Yeah, I could, have, I could have hit him over the head too, knowing that he's not actually... Actually, as creepy as he pretends to be. I love that. It's such a recording. Don't know what that switch does. Oh, the, oh, the exterior lights. Switch to creepy green lights. Wait till he goes back in just to confirm, but I believe that's all it is. Yep. <laughs> Brilliant. That's that's amazing. I love it. This dress up pantomime nonsense is getting on my nerves. <sighs> Don't make me explain again why it's important to keep people away from our hideout. Just seems like overkill is all. There ain't no one out there. Well, when you're in charge, you can hang up a big sign saying, Secret Hideout, come on in. Until then, we do what the boss tells us. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't recognize... Whoops. Didn't expect one of them to still be there, so they both walked away. Well, this is the thieves' hideout, huh? I think I didn't stay in the passageway then. Alright. So. 
So, do I knock these guys out or do I not? Don't know if he's going to come back. Let's open the door and listen to footsteps. Might just want to. He might just hang around out there and be. And be making it awkward for me. It's a trap door. It looks like a trap door. more guys wandering around out here and not much darkness. We can wait, Papa! We can wait! Wasn't expecting somebody to be standing right there. Just make sure this guy isn't gonna be bound by his friends. He can hang out there with his presumably old friend. I think they've made my decision for me by uh, being the ones to spot me first. Let me grab his mask now. That's something he's finally got, come up here to search as well. I might need to drop him on something. Oh, there's nothing in this. I guess there is. Maybe something in this hut. There is an upper. Hello. Well, that's not going to be accessible until I have lockpicks. Old stable, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Where is something I can drop him on? Maybe let's see if we can find the tree stumbles again. It's irrelevant, <coughs> right? A rock, a tree stump. Unimportant. It's completely unimportant. But I want a zombie mask. <coughs> oh. Oh, yeah, it's, it's got to be brushes, right? Where was that hut? <laughs> yeah, you'll just clip through that. The ruins. Stairs here, this might work. Hmm. Guess maybe I'm just not getting his mask. 
There we go. Have it. Yeah. I oh, won't let me keep it. Well. Let's leave it. Let's leave it here for somebody to find. Well, you know what? You can wake up here in the rain. That's that's fine. I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself there. All right. Uh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, we're gonna have some Thieves Guild's largest collection of this hut. This hut I was thinking of because that was the kind of cliff edge. Uh, I'm lost. I'm lost in the forest. Oh no. Vaguely possible to get up there. Oh, yeah, it is, but it's pretty hard. Okay, it is just possible. But not much reason to, I suppose. Okay. I don't care if they know that I've been here, right? Sounds like someone's still searching for me. Really? That's really awkward because I don't have any flash bombs or anything. He's gonna stop. What is he gonna take to calm down? I hope he calms down because I don't have any way past him right now. Except to lead him on a chase up the stairs here. Which would not really be profitable for me. It might be a holy act, but. He's got to be scripted, otherwise he would definitely have calmed down by now. So I guess let's wake him up. Here, I have a present for you. I'm not kidding. Come on out. I'm gonna count to three, so you better come out. One, two, three. Gone. You know all We're gonna have fun gutting you, Capper boy. You Come on out. I should leave that open in case I do need to make a getaway. This is extremely awkward. You know you can't hide forever. Also getting stuck on the door is quite awkward too. Mm. Yeah, take a flame burst plumeria. It's not like it's not flash bomb. Well now. Oof, I'm getting stuck in this door. I'm count to three, so you better come out. Okay. One <clears throat> He got me, but uh, I got him better. Mostly dead, though. That's not great. Still, that's one of them down. Is his friend still stuck here? I'm gonna count to three, so you better come out. 
That's all three, that's ugh. He's just they're so thoroughly broken at this point. Alright, maybe I can KO him. Come back, dude! Oh, he's unconscious. Good, I didn't quite kill him. He's got a few arrows in him, but you know, the rain will wash away most of the pain, right? Or he might end up like his other friend there. Alright, cut a pile. So, there's a much less stealthy entrance than I planned, but I literally didn't have anywhere to hide and there was somebody I didn't hear standing in the room watching, so... Turned out I had no idea that I was going to get seen the moment I stepped in here. Not sure what else I'm supposed to do, but it's fair enough. I can't... Why can't I take that beer? Oh, I do have one water arrow. You can go join your friends. They're gonna be so mad in the morning. Soaked to the skin. Concussed. Poor. Oh, is there something there? No, it's just a light on the brick. Okay, so. Keep see I keep seeing that little black mark and thinking it's a switch. There might be other value valuables I overlooked in this pile here. Well, it seems not. Yeah, even if I put out that torch, this room is too well lit. Eleven seventy-seven. I'll take the cheese. I'll no hit points, but uh, that's the way luck goes sometimes. Take all that beer too, if I could. Don't have the good stuff. I do have a nice logo though. That way seems clear. Let's try that first. There's a lot more doors this other way. Too soon. Yarn's workshop keep out. Nah, many an unwary traveler has gone missing around there. You'll stay up in our part of the woods if you know what's good for you. But there could be all kinds of treasure in that temple. You should be less concerned about treasure and more concerned about the maniac cultists that run the place. How bad can they be? We could take them. How bad? I'll tell you. We had a guy once, Morgan, who thought it was worth the risk. He snuck down there one night, thinking he'd clean the place out. When he didn't come back, me and some of the lads went looking for him. Did you find him? At first, we found his gear. They just dumped all that. So what happened to the guy? We snuck in close to their village. When we got close, we saw they'd got the poor bastard on a spit over a roaring fire. You're taffing me. They cooked him, and they ate him. Nothing we could do. That's disgusting. That's why we don't go south. Yeah, all right, yeah. That was a 
was mostly expediency because it felt like he was about to walk into me. I put him in this corner here. Oh, that's the door. I put him in this corner here. Flash bomb, nice. Someone's been clicking, I was gonna say eggs, but no, it's, it's yarn. More cheese. One of these days, I'll get some healing from that. What's, what's that there? It's flare. It's noisy. Puppy bunny slippers. <laughs> Oh, uh, why can't I take the fluffy bunny slippers? Garrett, Garrett needs fluffy bunny slippers. Alright. I've complained about how tightly constrained the level is, except because it was made for the 1 million units contest. The, most of the constraints are uh, forced upon them. Well, they're more constrained than they would normally be. Doesn't necessarily require you to try and force lots of stuff into small space, but certainly encourages Yaren's key. Okay, so we're getting to Yaren's workshop now. All right, this is Yaren here. What's going on? You hear that? What the? You know you can't hide forever! Come on now. Not sure what suddenly spooked them. Surely they won't chase me to the toilets, right? Hello, somebody uh, swallowed a coin. in Yaren's workshop. Yaren doesn't have bolt cutters. Yaren does have a mine and a big valuable crystal and uh, is that a bantam note? How did these guys get hold of a bantam note? I guess they're making the zombie masks here. Yaren, when you have time please readjust the locks in my chamber. The owls should have to be facing the painting of the reclining lady and the painting of the ship at dawn. Uh, look picks, nice. Okay. That's the bar where I came from. So there's people here. I guess we'll find out where it is pretty soon. Kitchen. One of these days I'll get some healing from some food, right? Remember, stealing food and other supplies is everyone's responsibility. Don't neglect the essentials when out on a job. Rules of the Shadowhand Gang. 1. Never steal from another member of the gang. 2. Never talk about the gang outside of this hideout. 3. Never reveal the location of the hideout to anyone. 4. As leader, Margot Shadowhand receives 50% of all takings. 5. A share of all takings goes to the maintenance and upkeep of the hideout. 6. All burglary jobs must be agreed, agreed upon and authorised by Margot or Fingal. Rule breaking is punishable by death. Be it so ordered, Margot shadow hand. Depending who sent the thugs to capture you. 
I've had enough of this. I need to find some useful information. New objective. So this is the infamous Shadowhand gang that's been robbing high profile targets in the city. Find some details with the next target. The watch would be very interested in, in an anonymous tip off. <clears throat> well, I mean, although they're rival thieves, why would I be wanting to help the watch? Optional. There's bound to be some valuable treasure in that temple if you can avoid the cultists residing in the southern parts of the forest. Oh, because I overheard the conversation about it. Nice. The following targets are not to be touched at the current time. Dr. Valencia. Rampone's Dockside Warehouse. Hit recently. Would be bad for our agree agreement with Davidson. Kuranov Estate. Any properties under the protection of Raputo. Bandley Roftopper. Well, we know what their next targets are not. Anything on the top shelf? No, all just for looks. And these are not edible, sadly. Flint and steel, okay, now I can light the fire that I had the firewood for. Good, good. Potatoes. Like, yeah, I know I need healing, but Garrett just hates potatoes. Doesn't even like chips. It's terrible. There is so little space in this hideout that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to care if everyone want to get a chance to. Let me safe there. Keep these doors open to make it easier to carry bodies through. This is clearly the training room. How's the archery, Garrett? Ah, uh, little off center. Much better. This room is off limits. It looks like it was a secret chamber built by Lord Boringdale when the original house was still standing. There's some kind of weird contraption in there, and without knowing exactly what it's capable of, I won't have any of you jeopardizing our operations here until myself and Yaren have had a chance to properly investigate. And... Oh. Oh. I'll have to come back here, but let's make sure opposition is quiet. What's in? Uh, so we know there's at least two more fellows up here that have just seen me. Is that Margot herself? <coughs> She's not carrying anything, is she? No. Yeah, big M. All right. More cheese. These are the cheese bandits. Editorial. Once proud man are lost in woods. Some of our older readers may recall from their youths the horrifying story of Lord Boringdale's country estate that was set aflame after a drunken altercation. The affair cost the Lord his life, and his son and heir left the ruin abandoned. Since then, the creeping forest has reclaimed the site and left very little of it visible at all. Picking one's way through the trees, one can still find a handful of outbuildings, but of the house there remains no sign, unless it be below ground where the fire left the old basement untouched. There is a melancholy air to the place, a sobering reminder of time's remorseless passage etched into the very stones for the loss of such a great lord of times past. Nonetheless, perhaps it is for the best, for the area has grown most wild and dangerous, and we ran out of paper. Reminder, consult Bard from in the city about the cultist village to the south. Need 10 to 15 fearless men, good fighters all, no one's superstitious. Must speak to Caraway about getting a map for the next job. Shouldn't be too hard to come by for a coin or two. Looks like the lads succeeded tonight. Cat's eye on Leon should be back any minute now with the so-called master thief Garrett. Tram already made it back with the loot they took off him. That chalice especially will fetch a fine price. 
Need to get to rack him up. Need to get rack him up here to appraise. Thought he would give them more trouble, to be honest. Maybe his reputation is undeserved. Still, he'll be a good asset if I can convince him to join us. The Shadow Hand Gang could certainly do with someone of his talents. Add a bit of finesse to our operations. Keep dreaming. I work alone. Okay, as I switch there. At least not a switch on this side. That is owl. That's another owl. What's the note say? What was Yaron's note? The owls should have to be facing the painting of the reclining lady and the painting of the ship at dawn. There's the reclining lady. Okay, and the painting of the ship at dawn. I feel like that's about right. Hey, hey, what do you know? Armory key, nice. And there's the chalice. It's mine again. You know what? I'm gonna leave you in your room. So the first thing you see when you wake up is your safe looted and the contents gone. <laughs> then you will know not to mess with Garrett, the Master Thief. Fancy bed too, you know, very fancy. Did I miss anything? I don't believe so. Something's going down. I know you're out there. Oh, you got die. Hey, that's so noisy. Huh? I think you might have heard the clang from the, uh... I'm not kidding. Come on out! one more. He's muttering to himself away there behind closed doors. As long as he stays behind closed doors, that's quite alright. He opens the door while I'm busy cutting these bodies around. Inconvenient. Well, who knew that all it took to overcome the infamous Shadowhand gang was uh, a frying pan. Oh, hello. I should have checked the washing up, shouldn't I? I think I did. Okay, so there is somebody in here. Alright, there's a couple more doors. This armory has got to be that way. What's this room? Kirill. Keep a close eye on the storm tonight. Graham brought in a lot of valuables they took from Garrett, and I want to know if anyone gets tempted to help themselves. The chalice is the single most valuable item, but I'm keeping that in my chamber. Notify me of anything suspicious. And they have a pin up. I guess that's the storeroom now. See, his guard room looks out onto it. The been through there. Well, I do have lock picks now. There's nobody in there. Didn't make sense, there would be, but 
does make sense to always check. A lot of valuables they took from me, huh? That's why they keep the good wine. Stone lion. It's more a uh, knickknack than a valuable. Alright, well, this is a problem. I've looted most of the storage, and uh, I'm a long way short of the loot goal. Maybe the temple will have the other treasures I need, but uh, this does move up from being a bonus objective in practice to being required. Alright, we have a couple more doors here. Huh? What was the... You shouldn't let me see you! You're done for! <clears throat> you all run behind them in the dark, Rick. Never fails to get a laugh. Especially with a prank pan. Garrett, the master clown. <clears throat> Can I get a second frying pan? You know, just as like one in each hand. On come twice. Stereo knockouts. Hello? Bingle! I've had a lead on one of the independents still operating in the city. The one and only Garrett is pulling a job tonight and will be visiting his fence in Stone Market with a take. Send some of the lads to grab him. Alive. He'll get the same ultimatum as the rest of them. If he joins us, he'll be a valuable asset. If not, at least he's another unpredictable element out of the picture. Don't forget, it's been less than a year and we've muscled into almost every corner of the city. The downwind has a history, and most of the other thieves in the city have either been brought into the fold or eliminated. Stick with me and we'll soon be running this place. Might go shut a hand. Got a pet fish. <laughs> the cute tail. I love it. Uh, do I try breaking the glass? Ember glow crystal. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Hello. You did not get cut. You must be hiding something. Oh. Hiding something rather unpleasant and probably for a very long time smelly. But I guess not anymore. Unless you just brought the skeleton there. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna try it just to see what level does, but I will reload. Okay. Cannot cannot hurt the poor fish, that's good. Alright. And the armory. I guess that's all that's left here, right? Yeah, we've been to everywhere else. Water, moss, gas. More broadheads. A couple of flares if we need them. Flash mine. You know, I'd forgotten the flash mines existed. Lord Baffin just acquired a golden ruby crown. Extra security in his manner. We'll hit it on 31st October. Autumn festival in the streets. Means less guards and watch will have their hands full. Need lockbreaker and tough boys for any guards. Matt, next guard can provide for a small fee. Oh. Baffert. <laughs> That's original. It's just a nonsense nice texture. Okay. Armory robbed. Feel like we're not gonna find anything else of value down here. What's our objectives look like? Blah blah blah. Everything ticked off except the temple, and uh, you know, we probably need to go there. Or well, we definitely need to go there if we're gonna hit this loot goal. So, uh. 
What's the, what's the toilets? This is the bar. Did I search the room behind the bar? I think I did. Yeah. Did I look down behind the bar? I did not. There seems to be nothing. All right. I think with you are a creepy statue. You know that. I think we're done with the thieves' hideouts. Let's. Uh, I will leave the ones who are sleeping down there sleeping down there, and let's lock the others in, shall we? We'll throw away the key somewhere. But, uh, next up, the temple. But that will have to be in the next episode. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.